previously on Gospel Gas. Where is your greatness? What happened to your greatness? We were talking about passion for greatness. It comes, it starts on the inside. What happened to that desire to, to create a solution, to be the solution, to bring Tom something to the table, to invent, to create, to innovate? What happened to you? And that's the question we started with yesterday as we started a new series called Passion for Greatness. Gospel cast continues right after this. Welcome to a brand new gospel cast today. I'm so excited to have you on here again today. My name is Star. I'll be your host for today. Let's get it started. Passion for greatness. This is the second day on passion for greatness. Today we'll be talking about passionate actions and steps. Now, it's not enough to desire it. It's not enough to think it. If wishes we are horses, even lame men will be riding on them. But you see, life is not like that. It's not enough to, to just desire. So, so, but before we go into actions and steps, we want you to understand that human greatness was designed by God. It is imbued in you. You see, we said yesterday that everybody might not be able to become great because not everybody will dare to have the passion that will make them great. Not everybody will pursue the passion that will make them great. So that's one thing. But you have to understand basically that it is in you. And when we ask where is your passion, whatever where is your greatness, whatever we asking yesterday was that we're asking you, have you found those things that God has put in you, those unique design that God has put inside of you that will make you great? Those things that, that irritates you, that drives you crazy, that moves you, that you just want to do something about it. And these are the things that by design God has put into you. As he said in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. Now the next thing you understand as we go on today is the passion for greatness becomes most effective when you connect to what God has designed for your life. Not just that God has put some deep deposit inside of you, God has also designed a pattern for your life. He has designed a, 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 a way that you must follow, something that you would do that is already in you. So there's one that is in you, there is a path you have to find to follow to be able to fulfill what God has put in your heart. Now, it's like coming into a team. God is already working. He has put a design in you. He has put the potentials in you. He has designed a path and walking that path, like Jesus said, my father is always walking. So he's looking for you to connect in his passion with his passion and let the team get to work and fulfill something great now today we're going to the bible today we'll be talking about uh the we talked about him yesterday Phinehas, the son of eliezer the son of aaron the priest the brother of moses we all know Moses. Uh, now, in, in 25 years, you got to understand that what happened here was so tragic. God started killing the children of Israel because they disobeyed God. And in this number 25 is the highest number of deaths in the wilderness. During the time of Moses taking the children of Israel to the promised land, there were about 24,000 Israelites that died because of God anger and look at what happened while he was still mourning uh, another Israelite you know carried and that person and passed Moses a uh, woman of media and did all this thing but what happened Eliezer Phinehas the son of Eliezer rose up with passion he rose up he took a step he he took action that is in line with his passion it's not enough to be angry that this person is just disobeying god and god is killing people and you're still disobeying god while we are crying for god's mercy it's not enough to have it and think it and be good in your mind he rose up now look at what god said to moses and the lord spoke unto moses saying phinehas the son of eliezer the son of aaron the priest has turned away my rod from the children of israel while he was zealous for my sake among them that I consume not the children of Israel. Now look at the next verse. He said, Therefore say, Behold, I give unto him my covenant of peace. While many people are looking for it, God is giving it to people who have passion enough to take action that is in line with his desire and, and, and uh, plans for us. And he will have it. So the covenant of priests didn't just start uh, the covenant of everlasting priest who started with Eliezer because of passion for God. So what are we talking about? Go out today and do something about the passion that God has put in your heart. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.